Hello, everyone. Retro Rob here. And you see what I got? I got another box battle here. This is going to be a mini box battle. We got two 1970 tops. One from Jam Packs, limited edition, 38 to 48. And we got uh, sportscards.com and box 69 to 72. So we got two boxes here this one has 15 cards this one has uh 10 cards so this might have a little bit of an advantage i'll tell you the price of both of them here at the recap i don't remember off the top of my head so uh i think this one was probably 69 i think that one was uh, about the same close to it they're, all, they're about 50 to 70 bucks for each one of these boxes so we're going to see which one is the better of the box. Like the regular box mail, just a simple open two boxes. So let's see. Let's flip the lucky coin of chance who's going to be first. This is going to be heads. This is going to be tails. There we go. And boom, it's going to be heads. Now we're going to open this up. One or more Hall of Famers guaranteed. So this one might be a nicer product than sportscards.com. I don't know. I've opened, uh, I think, 1975, 1976 of this, and it was pretty decent. Well, let's see what we got here. Number 38 of 48. Oh, here we go. Open that box. There is our bubble wrap. Seal for our protection. Oh, here we go. And look at all that goodness right there. And it's going to go from top to bottom. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I like the start of that so far. We're starting off. With the 1970 rookie stars of the Tigers. Get my Tigers love there with Norman McRae and Bob Reed. So, not big names. I'll still get a nice Tigers card. And I'll tell you what, man, for 1970s, these are in awesome condition. Look at that, man. That is a good mint card. 207. So, very nice. I'll show the prices on uh, some of these. Some of the, probably the bigger ones, but not all of them. But there it is. Man, that looks fresh out of pack almost. So, very nice. We will take that. There it is. Up next, we got Bernie Allen from the Washington Senators there. So, 577. Getting up there on the high card numbers. So, there it is. Uh, very nice. We will take that. Bernie Allen, again, a great condition card. Up next, we got Joy, uh, Joe Fay, Joe Foy, Joe Foy. There he is. Oh, the Mets. Uh, very nice. Number 138. We'll take that. Up next, we got the ERA. Here's the Juan Marshall from the Giants. We got Steve Carlton and Bob Gibson. Oh, uh, very nice card right there. Again, not in bad shape. Yeah, of course, or you got the little white line over there, so not the best cut card, but we'll still take it. Juan Marshall, Steve Carlton, and Bob Gibson. And then we got Roberto Pena from the San Diego Padres there. Now there is number 44. Uh, low number card. We will take it. And then we got Bob Veal of the Pittsburgh Pirates there. So there it is 236. Nice white background there. So you know it's a pretty decent shaped card. So we will take that. Up next, we got the Padres rookie leaders. We got Jerry Morales and Jim Williams. So that one's not a bad card. Jerry Morales is probably the better one. He had a pretty good long career. So there it is, the San Diego Padres. And up next, we got Joe Torre there. Oh, the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, very nice. Catching the ball there. Number 190. I'll have a little value. So we'll take that. There's Joe Torre. Oh, the St. Louis Cardinals. And then we got Ed Stroud of the Washington Senators. Look how happy he is. Look at him, man. We're going to lay that butt down for the Senators just before they got moved over to the Texas Rangers. So there it is. Number 506. So semi-high number card. And then we got Ray Fossey there from the Cleveland Indians. Oh, uh, yeah. I believe that's the year he got bowled over by Pete Rose and never recovered from that. So there he is. 184. It could be his rookie card, too. So we got Ray Fossey of the Cleveland Indians. And then we got Jerry Robertson. Oh, the Tigers. Got my Tigers love there. Very nice. Looks like we got a rookie card there as well. Looks like he got traded. 
Oh, there he is. Played for Montreal and went to the Tigers. So there's Jerry Robertson of the Tigers. And then we got Norm Miller there from the Houston Astros. Oh, very nice. Oh, there we go. Number 619. That definitely is a high number card. That one will have some value. I wish I the price on that one. I gotta love the high number cards. So there's Norm Miller. Up next, look at that. It's all bad side. He's looking young. Very nice. Mr. Match game himself. Get ready to he match the star. The From the LA Dodgers, Richard Don Sutton. 1970, man. The 70s did not age him well, that's for sure. This is the before. In the late 70s and early 80s, you can tell by the afterwards. So, 622 high number card it is off centered, but in pretty decent shape. So, we will add that to any collection. Now, we got your old man down something there. After that, we got Skip Gwynn from the Houston Astros, number 316. Uh, could be another rookie card, too. So, there it is. Skip Gwynn of the Astros. And that last card is going to be. Marty Martinez of the Houston Astros. There he is, 126. So that's a lower number card. So, all right. Well, there were a couple of Hall of Famers in there. Um, you know, nothing too excited about. Probably that Don Sutton will have some money. Uh, some of those high number cards. So let's see how it compares to sportscards.com. Who's going to have the bigger hit? What do you think the biggest hit that one was? Probably the Don Sutton, I would say. It could be the ERA leaders. Uh, we will add it up and see who gets it. And we'll probably have to do overall value because I'm sure one was more expensive than the other. But one gave more cards out, too. So I think I'd rather have more cards. But I'm, of course, I'd rather have more hits, that's for sure. So let's break the seal. Seal for our protection. I got to go to 1970 there. Now here we go. There is our bonus card, as you know. Get your discounts. Get some gifts every once in a while. So here we go. Pull that out. And boom, there's a hit right away. We get Bill Mazeroski there from the Pittsburgh Pirates. There you go. Good old Bill. That's always a good hit. 440. And it is in decent shape. Oh, very nice. So we'll take that. Bill Mazeroski from the Pittsburgh Pirates. Already get the hit in the top card. Up next, we got a uh, very dinged up Casey Cox there from the Washington Senators. Yikes, they should be in better shape than this. Sports cards. So 281. And that's pretty beat up. So there's that one. Up next, we got Ron Pernowski from the Minnesota Twins. And there he is. And getting 226 there. So there he is. There's Ryan. of the Twins. Up next, kind of get another beat up little card there. We got the Braves where he starts there. Very nice. Boom. We got Mike McQueen, Daryl Evans, and Rick Kester. He just looks weird with glasses out there. Well, there he is. Daryl Evans. Man, I wish that was a better shape card. I would love to have Daryl Evans' rookie card in better condition than this one. But hey, what are you going to do? You're going to take that. Still a nice little hit there of Daryl Evans. After that, I got Mel Steiermeyer from the New York Yankees. Always a good pitcher for them as well. Oh, number 100. Oh, look at all the 20 game winners. He was really underrated in the 60s, that is for sure. Look at that. Three 20 game win seasons. So, man, he was a good pitcher. Mel Steiermeyer of the New York Yankees. After that, we got Dennis Menke from the Houston Astros. Man, I got a lot of Astro cards in these. Astros fan, you're probably loving it. 155. There he is in his bang stance. Up next, we got a very uh, uh, blacked out cap of Jack Ecker from the New York Yankees. Uh, obviously, he came from Cleveland. Uh, let's see, adult New York. Oh, okay, came from the Pilots there. So there he is. Low number card, there is Jack Eckler. Oh, after that, we got Don Wirt of the Tigers. Got my Tigers love there. So there he is, Don Wirt. Well, oh, playing third base there. So very nice. Number 33. We will take that. Oh, after that, we got Chuck Hinton of the Cleveland Indians. Uh, there he is. Low number card there, but in really nice shape there. So it was a 64 All-Star. So there he is. 
Uh, All-star for the Senators at the time. And that last card is going to be Marty Martinez from the Houston Astros. More Astros cards. Man, and you're getting tons of Astros cards out of here. 126. So that is that pack from sportscards.com. And there it is. Those are probably the two biggest hits. Bill Mazeroski of the Pirates. And we're going to get a Daryl Evans Ricky card as well. Unfortunately, it's not in the best shape. So, you know what we got to do, right? We got to add all this stuff up and do a mini box war here. It's not a box battle royale, but I'm going to try to do more of these if I can. So stay tuned for more of these and stay tuned to see which one took it. Jam packs or sportscards.com. So stay tuned. All right, we are back with those two boxes one from Jam Packs and one from sportscards.com. They're featuring 1970 tops here. So let's go to the highlights. We're going to start with the uh, first one there, which was the Jam Packs. There were 15 cards. I looked it up. I paid $69.95 for this. And tell you what, they did pretty good. Um, you get 15 cards. Uh, they say you guarantee one of, or more Hall of Famer, which we did. We got more than one Hall of Famer. Uh, we got the two top cards right there. Um, it is first one's going to be Don Sutton. Uh, was a Beck, Beckett low of $12. I mean, if that was more centered... That would be a perfect card to get. So it's all centered, but the sh corners are sharp. So you got that going for it. So a very young Don Sutton there. I always make fun of old Don, old man Sutton there, but there he's kind of young. So well, fourth year playing. So we will take that. So very nice card right there. And surprise, surprise, probably for a lot of you, this was the second highest ranked card. It was Jerry Robertson. From the Detroit Tigers. Get my Tigers all there. And that is not a bad shape card either. And the reason why, it's a high number card right there, boys and girls. 661. And that's why it's worth $4 Beckett Low. So uh, we got some nice cards in there. The Joe Torre, the ERA's leader. There were a couple dollar cards in there. So Beckett Low for all 50 of these cards was $25.50. Um, yeah, I lost $44.45, but going into this, I know I'm going to lose money on this. It is all a pure gamble, hit, lottery ticket hit, you know, hits, trying to get the hits. So for sportscards.com, I spent $59 on 10 cards. Um, no guarantees whatsoever here, uh, but here were the top two cards. First one was that very nice Daryl Evans card. Man, I'd be a lot more excited if that was in better shape. But, you know, Beckett Low, that one is $6. I'm a huge Daryl Evans fan myself. So, being a Tigers fan, you know, 84 World Series. He was a great hitter for man, so many years. Really got to get his autograph, too. So, I know you can pay for it. I just got to do it. I just got to break down and do it. So, there's Daryl Evans there. So, like I said, not the best shaped card, but still make it low. Oh, six dollars. Yeah, probably the biggest hit that or the second biggest hit there was Bill Mazeroski there from the Pittsburgh Pirates. Everyone loves good old Bill. Oh, uh, you know, good guy there, great hitter. Uh, there it is. That was Beckett Low of 250. Now, unfortunately, all this after those two cards got really poor <laughs> really quick. They were all low number commons. I mean, you can see they're all pretty much single digits there uh, for the most part. Uh, so that was unfortunate. Beckett Low for this was $11.30. Um, I ended up losing $47.70. So if I have to give a winner to the box battle, I think I'm going to give it to jampacks.net. So, yeah. I mean, I wish they'd do more of this. They, they always have pop-ups, and, and uh, you know, you're lucky if you can get them right away. you got to be right on top of it. I'm not on their special list like some other places. I had to order it just like everyone else does here. And it's really hard. Uh, they, they get sold so quick nowadays. It's it's impossible to get these boxes. I wish I could get more. Um, well, hopefully one of these days I can get more and do more box battles. Because this was fun doing 1970. That's always a good year. These are always condition sensitive. So, you know, that's part of the 
trick of collecting a set of 1970s. So overall, I like both boxes. You know, I got the Daryl Evans hit, even though it's not in the best shape. I got Del Man Sutton there, or Young Man Sutton in this case. So it's very nice. Got a high number card. Those are always hard to find, especially in decent shape. It's not, it's not centered, but we'll take it. So let me know your thoughts. What were your favorite cards in there? Was it the Sutton, Evans, one of these commons in here? Let me know. Leave those comments. I'll try to do more of these if I can. It's hard to find uh, another company other than sportscards.com that does this kind of thing. I wish there was more out there. Maybe if you know any, let me know. Uh, have fun with this. Let me know. If you haven't subscribed yet, we are so, so close to 600. If you have not hit that subscription button yet, I implore you to hit that button. We'll have a 600 a subscriber giveaway soon. I love giving stuff away to you guys, as you know. So keep on watching. I got some stuff coming up for you, so look out for that. And Retro Robbie saying, collect what you love.